Learning to self-custody your Bitcoin is an essential skill every Bitcoin user must learn. Trusting a third party to keep your Bitcoin safe is never a good idea. Unless you self-custody your Bitcoin, your Bitcoin is simply not safe and the risk of loss is unacceptably high. There are literally thousands of unfortunate stories of people who have lost their life savings due to their exchanges either being hacked, being negligent or going bankrupt. Moon Wallet is a Bitcoin app that allows you to take personal ownership of your Bitcoin. It is free, secure and very easy to use. Bitcoin has been known to increase in value rapidly and small amounts can quickly become a substantial percentage of your net worth. For this reason, we strongly recommend taking self-custody of all of your Bitcoin, even small amounts. In this video, we guide you through the five simple steps to take self-custody of your Bitcoin and store it safely with Moon Wallet. The first step is to get your phone and download Moon Wallet from the Play Store or App Store. Be sure to check out the developer is listed as Moon. That's how you know you've got the official app. Once installed, let's open the app. The next step is to create a new wallet. So let's click the Create New Wallet button. You will be prompted to create a new four digit PIN. Remember to use a PIN that isn't too obvious but is something that you will remember. Confirm your new PIN, and that's it. You've created a new wallet. Now before we transfer any Bitcoin to this new wallet, you must back up your wallet. Having a backup allows you to recover your funds if your phone is damaged, lost or stolen. So this is a critical step in ensuring your Bitcoin is properly secured. Moon has three backup options and we strongly recommend doing all three. You'll need a pen and some paper for this next part. Okay, so let's click the back up your wallet button and select the first backup option. Click start, enter your email address and click confirm. You'll receive an email with a verification link to click. Once done, go back to the app and choose a strong password, at least eight characters long, but 12 characters or more is ideal. We recommend writing down your password on paper to be sure you'll never forget it. And in fact, on the next screen, you'll see that Moon stresses this point. You'll need your email address and password to access your wallet and Moon cannot reset or recover your password. So it's essential that you keep a copy of your password backed up on paper. Let's click the check boxes and click finish. Your first backup is done. Let's now go ahead and do the second one. Click create an alternative backup. Moon reminds us to write our backup down, stressing the importance of having a backup copy. Now click start. Moon will generate your unique 32 digit recovery code, which you must write down on paper. And just one more important point here. Never ever store this recovery code in a Word document or anywhere online. We want to avoid storing your recovery code in digital format, where it could be accessed by malicious software or an online attacker. It should only be written with physical pen and paper and kept offline. Do not take a photo of it either, hard copy only. Once done, double check the code you've written down and click next. You'll be prompted to confirm your code by entering it exactly as you wrote it down. Moon will advise us that our recovery code will be required if we ever forget our password. And they also once again stress that they do not keep a copy of the recovery code. So the responsibility is on you to keep it safe. Tick the checkboxes and click confirm. You've now completed the second backup process. We strongly suggest that you also complete the third backup method immediately, which is called your emergency kit. This backup method allows you to recover your funds completely independently of Moon. For example, if Moon Wallet ever gets removed from the App Store and you can no longer access the app, you will be able to use your emergency kit to safely recover your funds. You can therefore see just how important this backup method is. Moon has a short explanation of how the emergency kit works. It's important to note that to recover your funds, you'll need to combine the instructions in your emergency kit with the recovery code that you wrote down in the second backup. Let's click the Create Your Emergency Kit button now. You'll have the option to save your emergency kit to Google Drive or to save it manually by clicking the I don't want to use cloud storage option. For beginners, we recommend saving the document to your Google Drive. It's the simplest and most reliable option. Your emergency kit is encrypted and useless without your recovery code, which you've got securely written down on paper. So even if your emergency kit on Google Drive is somehow compromised in the future, no one can access your money. Okay, so let's click Save to Drive, then select your Google account. 
Google will ask you permission to allow Moon to access your Google account. Click Continue and Allow. Your emergency kit will now be uploaded. You're then prompted to verify that your emergency kit has successfully uploaded. After logging into your Google Drive, you'll see an emergency kit PDF. This means that your backup has completed successfully. You may want to take a quick look at it for interest's sake, but it's not important right now. You can then go ahead and click the Done button. And that's it. All three backup steps are now complete. You have now successfully backed up your wallet. Before you can sleep easy, there is one more important step to follow. We need to secure our written backups. You should now have a single sheet of paper with a password and a 32-digit recovery key written on. This is the only information you should have written down. Do not write the words moon or Bitcoin or anything else that makes it easy for someone to identify what this information is. Now, the first thing we recommend is making a duplicate of this page. Take a second piece of paper and manually rewrite your password and recovery key. This creates redundancy. If one of your backups is ever lost or destroyed, you have a second backup as a failsafe. And as a side note, always be mindful of what you're writing on. Writing on paper can create an indent, which can mark pages underneath and compromise your security. Be sure to press on a hard surface like a desk or a kitchen counter. Now, once you've got your two backup pages, you want to fold them and place each in a separate envelope and seal it shut. We like to further secure the backups in an airtight, watertight bag. A simple resealable Ziploc food bag works great. Next, you'll need to decide where to store each of your backups. Most people recommend keeping one copy at home, hidden in a safe location. Your second copy should be stored in a different location altogether, somewhere off-site. If your home is ever flooded or affected by fire, for example, you'll need your fail-safe backup. Just remember that it's very important that only you have access to your backups. You should also have the ability to periodically check up on your off-site backup. You want to know as soon as possible if it's been compromised in any way, either through being tampered with or damaged. So bear this important point in mind when selecting your off-site backup location. The fifth and final step is to transfer your Bitcoin from whatever exchange you use to buy it on into your Moon Wallet. Say you bought your Bitcoin on Cash App, which is one of the apps we recommend for users in the US. Start by clicking the Receive button on the Wallet tab. A QR code will pop up with an address below it. Click Copy so you have the Bitcoin Receive address from Moon on your phone's clipboard. Next, open Cash App. From the Money tab on the bottom left, select the Bitcoin Square. Click the Send button on the right. Select Send Bitcoin. Enter the amount of Bitcoin you want to send. Paste the Moon Wallet address in and click Next. Always double check the address you are sending to. Check the first six and the last six characters at bare minimum. Once you're happy the address is correct, click Pay and enter your PIN. And that's it. You've successfully sent Bitcoin off Cash App and into your personal custody. Now it can sometimes take a little while for the transactions to come through, depending on whether we sent it via on-chain or Lightning. Both Cash App and Moon Wallet are Lightning enabled, so the transaction should be pretty much instant. If we go back to Moon Wallet now, you'll see that our funds have been successfully received. Our Bitcoin is now safely in cold storage, out of the hands of any third parties and under our direct control. Now, if you'd like to learn where to buy Bitcoin, how to easily buy Bitcoin, and the best way to maximize your Bitcoin returns, click on the video above. Now, if you're still new to Bitcoin, we strongly recommend you take a look at this next video, discussing some of the best practices to follow, mistakes to avoid, and how to maximize your Bitcoin returns.